In 87, Huey Lewis and the News released four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip To Be Square, a song so catchy most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Thank you Patrick. Their early work was a little too new wave for my tastes, but when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. The whole album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. He's been compared to Elvis Costello, but I think Huey has a far more bitter, cynical sense of humour. That's funny because the news, minus Lewis, were the backing band on My Aim Is True. As far as I recall, only one of the news played on My Aim Is True. If we keep drawing cartoons, they'll probably give up being terrorists. If we stop drawing cartoons, they'll probably stop killing people. Falling plane, debris and passengers. Info news. Russell Brand's revolution channel. Chomsky debates. It opens badly, but this is deceptive. That sickly, treacly piano invaded the soundtrack, like someone dragging a fingernail on a chalkboard. It isn't even in San Francisco. The writer is adrift. Hundreds of anemic films, like a skin rash. Someone whose entire experience of life must have been acquired, probably in a classroom, possibly a cloakroom. The heights of Trumpian emptiness, unashamed to display her bad handwriting. An annoying kid and his annoyed mom. Both managed to escape, and guess what? Not once in this does she ask money for her friend's house investment. The mother is still dies of breast cancer. They continue to be annoying and annoyed, stuck in a room, more than a craving for a quick burger on my mind. What happened when Irish TV interviewed them? Manipulative noise designed to confuse and misdirect. They are part of this new craze, I think they call it jazz. The Canadian Nurses Association has nothing to do with Pussy Riot. These punks did a very disgusting thing for those who goes to church. For all my life I have been scared, first by some bear that would take me to a forest if I would not go to bed. You will be welcomed without face or any other control to the Central Station Club. Nadia is a spitting image of Mark's sister in Peep Show. I'm with you girls. Regularly watch Breaking the Set on Russia Today. Most people just latch onto the sites they agree with. Leave Wikipedia alone. Followed by a lot of authors, they find my timeline fascinating. I am aware of some obscure books I haven't purchased. My new friends accept computers exist and following is promotion, which is of course fine. And columnists write editorials bemoaning how the continued reality of the novel to engage the modern world can question its reluctance Twitter would like to communicate with me, and my follow count is boosted. 
I know. Because author title is a method of relevance. The effectiveness of this advertising. Hashtag, hashtag, infinite loop. People are just not intelligent enough to appreciate things like poetry. Maybe if he tried twittering his poetry or putting it on Facebook, he might have more success. Poetry has been in decline all over the world for decades. People are choosing prose over verse. Plenty of stupid poetry out there. I read fiction all the time, but I couldn't tell which poets won the Pulitzer ever. Poetry is invisible and poets. I've searched online and read a sampling of his poems and frankly I don't like them. No one cares about poets. Not now, not ever. Plus, as Martin Amis says, they can't drive. Maybe because poetry really isn't very important or actually that interesting. Songs without music, writing without precision or specificity. I like poets and poetry, but expecting anyone to care is silly. Trying to cook breakfast and type at the same time? A classic 50s diner pile of pancakes kind of thing, or a modern cup of coffee and a cigarette? With a clear blue sky? Californian palm trees nearby? The blue ocean? sparkling in the morning sun. Just bacon, fried bread, egg, beans in a dingy English kitchen with a dull overcast day outside the window makes me drift away on a lovely soft breeze. If I had a thousand mouths, I'd kiss her all over at the same time. The artist, the criminal, the stereotypical hard-working Mexican immigrant, they think they have an audience. Kraftwerk just bleeps me, a guy pushing enter on his laptop, cut and paste mishmash wrapped in an enormous ego, an ugly personality. It's meaningless chatter, terrible footage, anti-performance or something like that. All of hip-hop? Not music, that. Move away from blatant plagiarism. Picasso was never called an asshole. John Coltrane? Just noise. Eat, shit, sleep, repeat. Retro, rehash, repeat, revive, revise. My bloody Valentine? Where are the tunes? Black power, symbolism and salute. There has been no action at all. The photographer isn't happy with the clickbait headline. At the dawning of a revolution in robotics, we are feeling the pressures of our aging. We are very close to self-driving cars, etc. After two laps of the city, I had to pay a taxi to drive there and me follow. The Blue House, now, that's a pub. Great parks, nice affordable housing, and an impressive coastline. Much better than Bilbao, Milan, Paris, Malmo, Gothenburg, Brussels, Barcelona. All attributes of varying usefulness, none particularly central to my identity. So who's to blame for Berlin? If they're speaking directly to you in a foreign language, surely EU funding is a myth. They are recycling some of our own money back to us. Brexity logic is a mysterious thing. I once knew an unpleasant Asian woman. Do you think I can extrapolate? Who is under threat? Why do you lot use latte as an insult? Zero content means you've lost. I live in Würzburg, Bavaria, but I'm from Durham. Personally thankful as you should be, for the contribution immigrants have made. 
I enjoy visiting different countries to experience different cultures. I am certainly not racist, far from it. Having had Polish friends, taken them to work, shown them around the Yorkshire Dales and visited them to tea. You could say you are parasitical on their labor. People vote for fascism. I'm not comfortable with anyone not like me syndrome. Sure, I get it. Ethnicity is a fuzzy concept that blurs in the margins. Read the Wikipedia articles on fascism and the National Socialism before you use the words. Typical of the patronizing, London-centric, cool kind of lads. I visited the public library looking for a travel guide. I had stuff to do. You really seem obsessed with Muslims. The idea of a Yoruba ethnic group bringing together Oyos, Ekebas, Ekitis, etc. under one umbrella was promoted by nationalists. The hate will get to such a point, it's just everywhere. It's bloody common sense salt water is dangerous. People drown in water, that's common sense. Neither Mr. nor Mrs. Kurdi knew you could drown in water. They must have done well not to hear about all the people drowning, drowning in the Mediterranean. They took a shortcut that went horribly wrong. The dad had a life jacket so obviously knew it was dangerous. He had a Facebook page which showed a comfortable but not luxurious life. He took a gamble and it failed. They were fleeing Turkey where there wasn't a war. That is not a reason for asylum. That is economic migration. Another poor judgment on his parents' part. Maybe they should apply for visas just like many other immigrants. Were they planning on crossing the Atlantic? Seriously? They would probably end up begging in the street. Is the USA morally obliged to let me in? Darned autocorrect. Hubris and karma come to mind. There's quite a lot of it. The danger is people fleeing war can't judge the decisions. Moral preaching the safety of your cozy home, the stupidity, sick of it. Easy to say that because of not being Irish you're being discriminated against. Mostly Irish people are very nice. These so-called equality officers are biased. There is something sinister about the Tesco's quest for power. In one store I found a few of the workers there, bullies, who were sneering, slanderers. I tried to get St. Patrick's Day off and was told no because two other Polish people had it off. Another case why multiculturalism will not work here. Why don't we just put a noose around Ireland's neck and hang ourselves? Sorry it happened in Sligo because it is a place I like going to. Only half a story here. Shock in art works best when it's incidental because the casually racist murders in Sex and Death in Sigatoka is shocking until you realize the way we treat animals will also come as a shock one day when humans are incredibly good at fooling themselves which art that does not conform to acceptable maximize profit from appealing to the widest censorship has become a financial would American psycho forget Islam the true threat to Western liberal society is pictures had made fight club 
Somehow it still even shocks, but shock will con naturally continue, apes. Unlike now. Some commentators, a lot of people learn, realized them is conformity. Will kill each other for domination by big business instrument and lowest common denominator commercial vectors means shock is inevitable. We're reduced to the animal in the equation. The main character fits all too perfectly Australia's racist history. Apparently when art sets out to shock and is shocking to people, the status quo itself is shocking. There's a wider conversation though about the extent to which society values its artists. As it has always been, the people who are getting rich are not black musicians. If Prince had been born 30 years earlier, he would have been a b-popper. This is the Beatles becoming essentially a studio band after 1966. People need to write the code, design the systems, etc. Why should musicians, authors, etc. earn vast sums of money? All e-commerce innovation happens in the porn industry. Why should anyone get paid if cavemen didn't? Why pay the plumber at all? Does Prince get paid if I flush the toilet? This comment is very lightweight. Even though I like pan pipes and also glockenspiels, I didn't have the patience to carefully read it. I used to think that talent was the magic formula, and either you had it or you didn't. In about 91, a dude at uni showed me his computer, which was connected to computers all over the world. Blue screen with white text on it. He was breathless with excitement. I shrugged, failed to see the point or possibility, and went for lunch. <laughs>